So I'm going to start off by using this ellipse tool and I already have all my colors ready. So what I'm basically doing here is I am randomly creating circles to create a cloud-like design. Now uh, you got to make sure that the Pathfinder window is open because that is going to help you out throughout the process. So to get that, go to Window uh, and select Pathfinder and the window will appear. Now once you're happy with the shape, just select all the paths, all the circles and unite them together by clicking onto the first icon in the Pathfinder window. Now what I'm doing here is I'm adding stroke to the cloud and the thickness of the stroke totally depends on what you like and you can also change the color of the stroke which is pretty easy so i am changing the color of the stroke to a dark purplish color and i was not really happy with the color so i kept on changing it So now I'm going to add shadows and highlights to the cloud. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a lighter color of the color that I used in the cloud. So I'm choosing a lighter color of it and I'm going to go back and select the ellipse tool and making sure that there is no stroke in the circles that we are going to create. And I'm just going to start creating small circles under the cloud, like this. So now I am changing I was not really happy with the color that I did so I went ahead and select all the circles and changed their color to even a lighter uh, shade of the blue. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add more highlights to the cloud just to give it a glossy look. So for that what I'm doing is I am selecting this brush tool and I'm going to select a white color and I'm going to draw lines along the circles as you can see i don't know how to explain it but yeah like that So now I'm picking up this dark purple color from the stroke to create eyes for the clouds. So again, to create the eyes for the cloud, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select the ellipse tool and I'm just going to create a small circle like this and I'm just going to duplicate it. So press option and drag it to the right and it will automatically duplicate the object like that. Now just to make sure that the eyes are in the middle, in the center of the cloud, I'm just selecting both of these eyes and just making sure that the eyes are in the center of the cloud. Now I'm going to create a mouth for the cloud. So with that, what I'm doing is I'm just going to create a circle like this. Like this. And I'm just going to select the rectangle tool and I'm going to cut the circle into half using the rectangle tool as you can see. Now just lock all of the layers 
except for the rectangle one and the circle that we just created. Now select both of these layers and go to the Shape Builder tool. Press Option and delete the excess part. And here we have a cute mouth. Now just align it wherever you want it to be. Like that. So now I'm going to create cute blush for the clouds. So with that, I'm choosing a pink color, making sure that the stroke is off. And again, I'm creating a circle using the lips tool, duplicating it by holding option and dragging it to the left. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shift both of these layers underneath the eyes like that and here we have our cute cloud with cute blush and now I'm gonna create a little highlight over the eyes like that a little circle like that using the brush tool and I'm just gonna duplicate it For the other eye like that now that our cloud is ready this is the time to make the white stroke so for that what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna duplicate the whole group or the whole layer in which we have our elements for the clouds and I'm gonna shift it underneath the main layer and I'm gonna lock the initial layer and making sure that there is no layer locked in the group underneath it. Now that we have our, the copy of it just united all together like this and change the color to white. And now just add white stroke to it. Now, again, it is up to you how thick you want the stroke to be. So once you're happy with the stroke that you created, go to Effect, Stylize, and Drop Shadow. Now here you can copy all of the settings that I did in this video or you can go ahead with your own settings. But I think this looks amazing. Just make sure that the stroke layer is selected when you are adding Drop Shadow to it. And yeah, here we have our cute cloud sticker. Now I'm gonna create a cute camera sticker and I'm gonna speed up the whole process because I'm gonna be using the same techniques and the same tools for that too. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a big thumbs up. I'll see you the next time.